Our next guest does not quote, see a consumer-led recession coming here at Post 9. Jen Niffen, J. Rogers Niffen, WWE CEO, joins us now. Uh, so you're not too concerned about Nike being, as we talked about last hour, the canary in the coal mine for retail writ large. Did you see a bunch of downgrades on Nike this morning? No, you didn't. Everybody's still overweight. Why? Because they're the best brand managers in the world, or at least close, and they've done this for a long time, and they'll make this all work. And I don't see cutting expenses as a bad thing. I see cutting expenses as a good thing. And they had a fine quarter. It was their guidance that concerned people. They had a very strong Black Friday through Cyber Monday weekend. So are they getting pushed by Hoka and On and things like that? Sure. But do they still own that space? Absolutely. They own that space and they'll figure it out and they're really good at what they do. They're getting hurt in China, but everybody's getting hurt in China. They're just not as strong there as we thought they would be at this point in time. So as an, as an investor, how do you kind of extrapolate, you know, what's going on in the macro, especially in the, the foreign markets? As you mentioned, China, they also cited uh, Europe as being a, a weaker uh, area that kind of informs their guidance. Do you just kind of take that out and say, but the U.S. is good and that's kind of their key market? Or do you no. take some money off the table? I worry about it. And I don't blame anybody that takes money off the table. But if you look at all of us who are following Nike, we all think they're very strong, they'll continue to be strong, and they're going to gain going forward. The question is, what's the timing, and did it run up too much? There's all those questions that I don't have to opine on, but I can opine on this being one of the greatest retailers in the world and best brand managers in the world, and it's going to work going forward. But do they own the space as firmly as they once did, given the competition that you mentioned? I think they do. Um, I do think there's competition. I think there's room for other people, too. But I think they are, just like Lulu owns their space, Nike owns their space. Are you worried about the Red Sea? I mean, should we be watching container rates at this point, or at least Indian goods, things like that? Am I worried about it? Yes. Is what they're doing right now, adding two weeks to the route, going to change it much? It will drive up the cost. And remember, we're talking about differences between $1,500 and $3,000 and $20,000 prior. We're not going to see this in the cost of goods, not yet. It's going to have to be a lot bigger deal than what it is so far. In terms of inflation, obviously, we saw that core PCE number come down uh, on a six-month basis. We're looking at that Fed below the Fed's 2% target. What does that mean for uh, the plight of spending as well as the cost of goods for a lot of the retailers out there? When you look right now at inflation in goods, I claim inflation in goods is zero. I personally hope it doesn't go negative. But it is right now zero, and on the other hand, services are still inflating, and they're going to continue to inflate till something changes with jobs and earnings. I don't think that's going to happen. So it's getting to be more attractive right now for goods versus going out to dinner. And we're seeing that reflected. We're seeing a small drift back toward goods as far as purchasing. I think that's going to continue, and it's going to accelerate not decelerate. So I think goods are going to benefit heading into 2024, and I think they're benefiting right now because they're just cheaper than doing other things.